what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? The newest child beating video is out right now on all formats. <laughs> Seriously, family. Okay, here's what we got. We got a father who beat his son and his nephew for skipping school and breaking into homes. Now, off the rip, I will tell you this. I don't know what type of relationship the father has with his son. He obviously cares about his son to even go as far as to try to punish him in some manner for breaking the rules and breaking the law. On a personal note, by the time a child gets to be 15 years old, I just don't think that an ass whooping will suffice. I'm not even with whooping ch children, period. I'm not even with that at all. I believe that you take things from children. This is what's very effective. When you deny privileges, maybe early on, a little spanking here, spanking there, something like that. But if you have to use physical punishment against your children, if that's the first thing that comes to your mind, if you have to constantly use that type of method for discipline, you're doing something wrong. Oftentimes for people, some people, it's easier to just strike out, get mad, hit something, right? Y'all know, a lot of us do that, you know, my mama did that. I don't think it's effective, especially by the time a kid gets to be about the age of the kids in this video. These kids look like they're about somewhere in the neighborhood of 15 to 17. I don't think it's going to be effective. And filming the beating and uploading it to social media is definitely not going to make them act any better. If anything, it'll make them resent you. and It'll make them possibly even want to do something to you. You did? Not to mention now you got the police in your business. You got the nosy neighbors. You got the child advocates all in your shit. And believe you me, the father, even though he appeared to be doing what he thought was the right thing to discipline his child or stop his child from breaking the rules and breaking the law, it is my belief that he will be punished. I do not understand the phenomenon of filming yourself beating your child and uploading it to the internet for the whole world to see. That is something that a parent does for themselves, for self-gratification. That is not teaching a child anything but vengeance, hatred. I remember one boy, dad beat him one day on social media. So what, he beat him and, and, and uploaded it to social media because the boy was claiming gain. Well, not long after that, maybe a few weeks, the boy was killed. So you tell me what purpose did that serve? All that did was make people, his friends, his peers, humiliate him when he went to school. People talk down on him. Now in his mind, he's probably saying to himself, he probably said to himself, I gotta be tougher. They think I'm soft. They think I'm a sucker because my daddy beat me. I'm tired of people talking about me. I'm tired of people messing with me. So probably jumped out there off the porch a little bit more. Who knows? Parents, stop beating your children. And especially stop beating your children and uploading it to the internet to further humiliate them. Now, I don't know what type of belt that the father was using. It looked like some type of 
strap off of a handbag or something. It really wasn't doing any damage. So I don't know what type of lesson the kid get out of that anyway. A lot of times, man, if a kid think that they can break the rule and all that's gonna happen is, is they're gonna get a whooping, even the hardest whooping, it's not going to be enough of a deterrent. Plus, when you beat your child, it makes your child look at you like you are the enemy. I'm not even talking about just a regular spanking or something. I'm talking about motherfucker, ooh, I told you, ooh, mother bitch, you hoe, you son of a bitch, you know, all that. Don't work. I can promise you they'll resent you for it. I can promise you that it'll backfire on you. People do all that stuff for them because they feel violated. Oh, I dare you do this to me. I dare you do this to my name. See, that's personal. They're not doing it for the child. A lot of times people are doing it for themselves. I don't know. Maybe I got it wrong. Maybe I'm the one who's out of pocket. Was this abuse or good parenting? Personally, I don't think it was abuse. But I also don't think it was good parenting. But what say you? No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.